In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use H5P to make an image hotspot. Now, just to show you what I mean by an image hotspot, let's take a look at this web page here. I've got a picture here of an alternator. This generates electricity, and you'll notice there's these little plus icons that expand as I go over them. What we can do with a hotspot is, if we click on that, it can add in extra information on drawings. So in this case, that plus sign was on the armature, and there's some more information about what an armature is. Over here is our field poles, some more information on our field pole information. This would be our slip rings. You could add images, you could add videos, you can add whatever you want. So I'll go through exactly how we can go ahead and create a hotspot. What we'll do is we'll go into our Moodle course shell and we'll make sure as always to turn our editing on. We'll go down to the area where we're gonna be adding our H5P. I've created one called H5P tutorials right here. So we're gonna add an activity. Here we're going to look through and we're going to look for the H5P. You'll notice there's two H5Ps. We're going to go with the black and white one, not the blue and white one. The blue and white one is more for a filter. The black and white one is where we actually build the interactive content. We'll go ahead and click on that. Now down below here, you'll see the content types. We have very, we have, there's different types of content. We'll have, go through it, make videos on each one of these. But for now, what we'll do is we'll just look for the image hotspot and we'll click on that. So for this example, I've got a picture of some personal protective equipment, so PPE. And we're going to add our background image. I've gone ahead and I've found a Creative Commons shared one from the internet. So I'm going to open that. And that's going to be our background picture where we're going to add the hotspots to. Whether it's a picture you've drawn or you've taken from a Creative Commons site, wherever, that's, that's the image you're going to be using. Now you scroll down until I get to the hotspots. Now you see there's this little green dot, that is our hotspot. So we're gonna set our hotspot number one. We just click and drag over, and then we see that the green goes there. I'm gonna name this hard hat, because that's what it is. Then we can pick the type that we want. In this case, we're gonna go with the text, and we just say, this will protect your head from injury. And we'll go ahead and we're just gonna click out of that. We could add another item to it, where if we wanted to add video or an image, in this case, we'll just leave it as is, so we'll remove that item, confirm. And then we're gonna add another hotspot because there's more than just that one area. We just, we did the hard hat. Now we can add another one for, say, safety glasses. So we'll call this one safety glass. Oops, let's spell that correctly. Safety glasses. Again, content item, text. These will protect your eyes from injury. And we can go ahead and keep adding hotspot to hotspot until you've got your all your images so that you've got one for each and every one. And we're just gonna take a look to see what it looks like now with just our two hotspots. So we'll save and return to course. We're gonna open this up. And now if you see here, we've got a great image Click on this hard hat. This will protect your head from injury. Click here, safety glasses. These will protect your eyes from injury. And there we go. We can go ahead and click out of that by just going back into our courses here, PPE, H5P tutorials, and we're back to our course. And that is how you go ahead and you can add information to a hotspot image in Moodle using H5P.